Hello, you are welcome to MVTI Learning Channel. My name is Mr. Francisco Achi, Masonry Trade Theory Instructor. We are going to discuss concrete production. It is expected that at the end of this lesson, you will be able to define what is concrete. You will be able to list the materials used in the production of concrete and state their functions. You will be able to state the properties of concrete in its fresh and hardened state. And you will be able to explain the processes involved in concrete production. So, let us start with the definition of concrete. Concrete may be defined as a composition or mixture of binder or cement, fine aggregate or sand, coarse aggregate or stones with a reasonable amount of water. In the definition, I mentioned the binder, and the binder here refers to the cement. The fine aggregate refers to the sand, and the coarse aggregate refers to the stones. And all these are mixed with reasonable amount of water. The materials used in concrete production, as I mentioned, are cement, the binder, sand, the fine aggregate, stones, the coarse aggregate, and reasonable amount of water. Let us discuss the functions of each of these materials in concrete production. One, the cement serves as a binding agent in concrete. When you mention a binding agent, what it means is that the cement is the one that binds the sand and the stones together. It also increases the workability of the mix. So these are the functions of cement in concrete production. Let's move on to the second material, the fine aggregate or sand. What are the functions of the fine aggregate or the sand in concrete production? The sand serves as a filler in concrete. That means that it fills the holes or voids created by the stones in the concrete. It also reduces shrinkage and also it assists in the binding process of the mix. These are the functions of the sand or fine aggregate in concrete production. Let's move on to the next material, which is the stones or the coarse aggregate. What are the functions of the stones or the coarse aggregate? The functions are, one, the coarse aggregate strengthen the concrete. It means it makes the concrete strong. It also increases the volume of the concrete mix. It also resists abrasion. That means that when the stones are in the concrete, it prevents the concrete from easily wearing out. And additionally, it resists stresses in the concrete. Let's move on to the next material, which is the water. The one that is used for mixing the concrete. What are the functions of the water in the concrete mix? The water facilitates the mix. When we say it facilitates the mix, it means that it makes the mixing very easier. It also starts the chemical reaction of the cement, which causes the mixture to set into a solid mass. And also, it makes the mix workable so that it can be placed, compacted into the required positions. So, these are the functions of the materials used in concrete production. We have talked about the fine aggregate, which is the sand. We've talked about the cement. We talk about the stones and the water. Then at this point, let's move on to the types of concrete that we have. Concrete is of two main types, namely mass or plain concrete and reinforced concrete. What is mass or plain concrete? Mass or plain concrete is a concrete without iron rods or bars. And usually, mass concrete have the ratio of 1 is to 3 is to 6. The ratio 1 is to 3 is to 6 means 1 part of cement, 3 part of sand, and 6 part of stones. And the reinforced concrete is a type of concrete that have reinforcement bars or rods in the concrete to provide additional strength to the concrete to be able to resist tensile stress. Usually, the mix of reinforced concrete is 1 is to 2 is to 4, which means one part of cement, two parts of sand, and then four parts of stones. So these are the ratio of the mass concrete and the reinforced concrete. 
Let's move on to the next point. This time we want to talk about the properties of concrete. But we are going to talk about the properties of concrete in its fresh state and the properties of concrete in its hardened state. So let us first of all talk about the properties of concrete in its fresh state. Properties of concrete in its fresh state are the concrete should be workable. The concrete should be fully compacted. The concrete should be well cured. The concrete should have correct water cement ratio. And also the concrete should have the correct cement aggregate ratio. So these are the properties of concrete in its fresh state. Then let's move on to the properties of concrete in its hardened state. What are the properties of concrete when it is in its hardened state? The properties are the concrete should be durable. It should be of dense mass. It should have sufficient strength. It should be impervious to water. And also, it should be resistant to fire. So these are also the properties of concrete in its hardened state. At this point, let us consider the processes involved in concrete production. In the processes involved in concrete production, the first process is the batching of concrete. What is batching of concrete? Batching is the process of measuring the individual materials in concrete in their correct proportion. And when you mentioned batching of concrete, we have two types of batching concrete materials. These two types or two methods are batching by volume, and batching by weight. Batching by volume. What is batching by volume? This method is carried out by using a gauge box without a base or head pan in measuring the concrete materials. So in the batching by volume, the materials are measured either using a gauge box without a bottom or a head pan. What about batching by weight? In these situations, the materials are measured using scales. And this can be done either using a concrete mixer, which has a scale attached to it, or using a separate weight batcher. So we have seen the two methods of batching concrete materials, batching by volume and then batching by weight. After batching the material is concrete mixing. What is concrete mixing? The mixing is the process of putting all the materials required together in the mixer. We have two ways of mixing concrete, either by hand or by machine. In the hand mixing of concrete, materials used are spade and shovel, and the materials are mixed on a prepared platform. In the mechanical or the machine mixing of concrete, a concrete mixer is used for the mixing of the concrete materials. Let us discuss the stages involved in the mixing of concrete materials by hand. The first is you bite the correct proportion of sand onto the platform. Then you spread the sand evenly on the platform. After the sand spread evenly on the platform, you bite the correct proportions of cement onto the sand. And the cement should be spread evenly over the spread sand. After that, you heap these two materials together. You close, you heap, you close until it forms a uniform color. After that, you open the mixture and bite the stones and spread the stones over the open mixture. Then you mix all these materials until a uniform color is obtained. You open again and then pour into the mixture a reasonable amount of water to ensure workability.
these are the processes involved in mixing concrete by hand. Let's move on to the stages involved in mixing concrete by machine. In mixing concrete by machine, you first of all put half the quantity of water required to mix into the mixing drum. This is very important to prevent the mixer from sticking into the size of the drum. After the water is poured, you bite the fine aggregate into the mixer. After the fine aggregate is bite into the mixer, you bite the coarse aggregate also into the mixer. Add the remaining half quantity of water required into the drum and the concrete machine have to mix it for at least two minutes to a uniform consistency. So these are the stages involved in mixing concrete by machine. Then let's move on to the next stage, transporting and placing of concrete. The transporting of concrete is done by moving the concrete from where it is mixed to the location where it is going to be casted. And this can be done by using a wheelbarrow, pump, crane, or damper. The next on the process is compaction of concrete. It means the concrete has to be compacted. Now, this is done to remove the trapped air that has formed inside the concrete mixture during the pouring process. So all air pockets that are housed inside the concrete will be removed when the compaction is done. And this is done using a mechanical vibrator known as poker. We also have a surface vibrator and we also have internal vibrator. This is used to vibrate the concrete so that all the pore species or the air species in the concrete will be moved. After the casting of the concrete, the last on the process is curing or curing of the concrete. What is curing of concrete? This process is used to control the moisture loss in the mix. And why do we do that? That is done to prevent the loss of moisture or retain water in the concrete. When required amount of moisture is retained in the concrete, it prevents the concrete from cracking or shrinking until the concrete attains its required strength. The method of curing the concrete is by covering it with materials such as polythene sheet, wet sack, some even use wet sand and other things to cover the concrete materials to prevent it from exposing to the weather so that the required amount of water will be retained in the concrete until it achieves its maximum strength. So far, what have we been discussing? We have been able to define what is concrete. Furthermore, we have been able to list all the materials that are required in production of concrete and also explain the functions of each of these materials. In addition to that, we are also going through all the processes involved in mixing concrete. We talk about mixing concrete by hand and mixing concrete by machine. The processes involved that we talk about include the batching of the materials, the mixing of the materials, transporting the materials, placing and curing. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. In the next lesson, Mr. Samuel Ama will take you through how to calculate the quantities of materials for a concrete production. Thank you.